It is one of the most important days of the year for Muslims. But in Syria, this year, like last, there is nothing to celebrate. At the Atme refugee camp in northern Syria, refugees set up improvised vendor stands, but few people can afford to shop at them. Before the crisis, during Eid, we used to go to shops and buy items. We were happy. Eid was a wonderful holiday here. Now these days I can't even buy my boy a pair of trousers, or shoes, or even a loaf of bread. I have eight children. I can't support them all. We are living in despair. Most people here are struggling to meet the most basic of needs, food, water and shelter. Celebrating a holiday just isn't an option. We are not celebrating Eid. We have nothing for Eid. We have nothing to celebrate. We used to celebrate with food, drinks, desserts. We used to make pastries. Now there's nothing. In Aleppo, residents are doing their best to mark Eid, praying and preparing for the traditional animal sacrifice for the poor. For them, there is at least one sliver of light from an unknown source. These sheep were donated to us. God bless those who gave them. We slaughter them and then divide them up and give them to the poor and to the families who have relatives on the front line. Children ride rickety little Ferris wheels and play in the streets, but use words no child should ever know the meaning of. Eid today is not good because of the shelling. Trying to play like children everywhere, hoping their lives will be more peaceful this time next year. Hala Garani, CNN Atlanta.